the status of core management structures, gaps and challenges, and best options for effective implementing the revised core management guidelines in Uganda have also been established. The collaborations and linkages with the institutions and partners have been maintained and new ones acquired. First, like the core management guidelines, so that the stakeholders are all involved. Let the fishermen be involved, the fish traders be involved, the, 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 the policing agents be involved, and the technical arms from the central government, then plus any civil society organization to be involved in this. Nakimo is Lake Choga Integrated Management Organization. It was set up by uh, uh, districts that actually touch the lake. And uh, the major aim was to, uh, to see how sustainably the lake resources could be utilized. Kiai said has cleared 85% of our challenges. They have trained our people. They have even cleaned the whole of this lake choga. You can't believe choga is big. I'm taking of 17 districts. Before the GIZ project, we did not have a fora that brings all of us as the stakeholders to the, in the fishery sector in the country to work together, to mainly plan, to exchange knowledge, to share ideas, to, to really guide good uh, management and development of the fishery sector in, in, in the country. As the name says, multi-stakeholder, the different stakeholders and so in improving the sector's performance, effectiveness, we as UFCA we have gained a lot in the last three years. Uh, from the efforts of GIZ, for people to generate those ideas, to generate information and so forth. So as an advocate organization, I know in the next two to three years we shall influence a lot of policies. With what we have already got, the information we have got now, we have got that. So we are going to package this information and be able to, to be able to, um, to come up with advocacy strategies and campaigns and so forth. As the project goes, goes away, they, it had been supporting a number of key activities which on routinely give us, give us uh, uh, data like uh, hydroacoustics. And I think when the project is closing, we started selling it to partner states. The partner states should be able to take it up and be able to develop that so that it continuously uh, go in that direction and does not stop. Uh, we have what we are calling the electronic catch assessment survey. It's very easy. You have the software installed on a mobile phone. These days people understand these mobile solutions. Everyone is on a mobile phone, on a smartphone. And we are making such inroads uh, after the project has ended where you don't have the resources to, to actually conduct these surveys. Then you have the enumerator at a landing site who is collecting data on a daily and transmitting this data to uh, a central server and then the manager who can also visualize what is happening. GIZ Responsible Fisheries Business Chains Project, together with the Directorate of Fisheries Resources, National Fisheries Resources Research Institute, District Local Government and the local fish community identified, characterized, validated and mapped 87 potential fish breeding areas in nursery grounds or maternity wards for fish on Lake Victoria 43 and Choga 44. The fish breeding areas, we know these areas where they are and we have mapped them. So we look forward to now having statutory instruments that can eventually have them gazetted and protected. <laughs>